Hello everyone, welcome back to QNet Live Broadcast. And uh, today the topic of our broadcast is the uh, Ubuntu Linux station, and that is the latest version 2.0. So uh, we invited our PM Calvin here to uh, do the demonstration. So let's get into the slide. Well, basically, I if if this is the first time you 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 check on our video and or you haven't tried the Ubuntu Linux station, well, this is and QBKG that you can just download free in our app center then you can install a Ubuntu in our NAS well the main purpose is to turn your NAS into a personal computer so uh, we will check uh, all the details one by one first we will talk about uh, how to play and share the media file well why, why, why we want to put this as a topic because well if you are not using okay, so to have a p, sorry, we just check on the the, the picture. Um, basically, if you want to have a PC, and then you want to uh, play the uh, data files inside of your piece uh, inside of your NAS, what you need to do? Well, first thing is you need to connect your NAS into your PC. Then turn on your PC and then check on the files inside of your NAS through your connection. So you need to have two like two stations. The first one is your NAS, and the other is your PC. Well, of course, you will definitely need a screen. So by this uh, structure, I'm thinking, or maybe you will think, is there any way to make the whole structure more uh, a bit more simple or to make it easier? Well, this is why we put the first page right there. This is a solution to make everything more easier like this. With the Ubuntu Linux station, you can turn your NAS into a computer. Then, by the H HDMI output port and uh, the USB port on the back panel of your NAS, you can, uh, you can just plug in the HDMI and output the screen, um, uh, output the, 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 the picture onto your own screen. And you can connect a USB camera, a USB mouse, and a keyboard. Then you can control everything inside of your NAS. Well, how? Um, for some of our NAS, we have HDMI output. Then you can run HD station inside of our QB, uh, inside of our QBKG app center. Or if you download the Ubuntu Linux station, there will be an option that you can choose to output the image in, uh, into your screen. So, with this structure, you don't really have to buy another PC to share or to play or to to config or to, to 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 check on the data files inside of your NAS through your PC. Well, this is an easier uh, structure and a lower cost. But is this what it is? Can is there anything more that this structure can do? Of course. Well, if you have a PC inside of your office or your own your own place, then when you're outside, the only way you can connect to your PC is to through the uh, remote desktop software, something like TeamViewer or other software that. But with a NAS and install the Ubuntu Linux station, of course a NAS connect to the internet and it will have its own IP address. So when you're outside, as long as you have the internet connection, you can use the connection to log into your NAS and then log into your Ubuntu Linux station. Then you can control your own PC even if you are not around your NAS. So this is another way and another solution that we can provide to you. Then we're going to talk about the five benefits of using the Ubuntu Linux station. First, since you install the Ubuntu inside of our NAS, so basically that is still a NAS, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So uh, as you can connect to your NAS, you can enjoy the QTS operation system. So you can use the uh, you can use the system to do something like the queue filing, queue search, and other of the free QBKG that you can install into your NAS. And the most of all, you can install the important data file inside of your NAS to protect it. And uh, you can make backup, or you can you can do anything you want. Just take it as a NAS. And whenever you want, you just log into your Ubuntu. Then it is a computer for you, right? And then to install the Ubuntu Linux station is very, very easy. You just go to our app center and then click on the button, the icon, then you can start to download the Ubuntu Linux station. 
when it's done, you can choose to use to install the version 1.6.1.8 or 2.0 of the Ubuntu version that you want. And then when you log into your Ubuntu, basically Ubuntu has its own software center, so you can download other applications onto your Ubuntu computer. So this is another this is another benefit. Well, the fourth benefit is the remote desktop we just mentioned. With a PC, you need to have a remote desktop software installed at two sites. Then you can log into your NAS, uh, your, your own PC by the other side. But with the Ubuntu Linux station you install onto your NAS, you can just log into your NAS, then you can check on your Ubuntu Linux station whenever you are, wherever you are, just with the internet. And uh, by this is a basically a NAS. So uh, each of the different NAS, you can uh, insert, install another expansion card, something like HDMI card and Wi-Fi card or uh, internet connection card or extra USB port cards. So these five are the apples for you when you are using QNET NAS and install Ubuntu Linux station on the NAS. Okay. okay. So uh, now we, we have talked about all the benefits of using the, the NAS as a personal PC. We go to the demo part. First is we will go to the computer side and uh, can, can we have the, sorry, can we have the HDMI connection? Yeah. No, 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 the HDMI. Oh, my HDMI connection. Yes, yes. So we will show you the, uh, we will show you the, 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 the hardware structure right here. Okay, you can see we have a NAS right here and uh, at the left hand side there is a black cable and a blue cable with another two black USB cable right there. So the, the first black cable is the HDMI port. So uh, this HDMI is connected to a screen. Okay. And the blue one is the internet cable and the rest of the two black cables are the USB cables. So one is connected to the keyboard and the others go the other go to the mouse. So basically this is a very simple structure just as the same as you install you you have a PC right you, you need to have a HDMI port to output the image you need to have cable RJ45 to have the con internet connection and you need to have a mouse and keyboard to control your computer so basically okay. it's the same so this is the first structure then we go back to a computer to show you how you can install that first you open the app center then you can choose Ubuntu Linux Station by search bar, just typing maybe something like Ubuntu or something Linux Station, then you will see this icon. And if you haven't downloaded that, you just click and then you can download. So uh, it's download is already. Yeah, the download is already done. So we go directly inside of the Ubuntu okay. Linux Station. Then these are the versions that you can choose to install inside of your NAS. Okay. Yeah, so we just click and click and click and start downloading. And the downloading takes time, so we have another NAS that already done the downloading. So uh, this is the user interface once you go in and check on this link. This link is the remote link. So when you click on the link, you can go into another screen that is just the, the login page of your NAS. So you can just, you can just click and type your password as you are using any of the computers, then you will get a screen. So this screen is the remote, as, uh, remote screen from our laptop. But we just mentioned about this connection, right? So I'm now going to show you uh, the screen directly output from the HDMI port. This is, this is the screen from the HDMI port. You can use your mouse, you can use your keyboard, and you can do anything right here. And see, see, we, we, we just check on the desktop. You can see Firefox, Google Chrome, and other like YouTube or other icons. That all means there's a lot of things that you can use. And you can even create your own folder. And can we mount the NAS? Can we mount the folder in the NAS onto the Ubuntu? This is a NAS file station. Oh. Directly. So this these folders are the folders inside of our NAS. Inside NAS, yes. Okay, so this is a more better way. If you are just using a, a, a computer, then you can, I think, two to three hard drives at top. 
but since now you are using your NAS, you can choose as many uh, as many hard drives as you wish. If you want to have an uh, eBay NAS, you just purchase an eBay uh, eBay hard drive. Okay. Yeah. So this is the interface of the Ubuntu Linux station, okay. just like a computer, right? So we can go back to the slide, right? Okay. And of course, since it upgraded into the 2.0 version, so what are the new things? First, we have a redesigned login screen, just as the login screen we checked. Yes. Uh, very simple and very intuitive. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we have redefined the unlock screen, just like this one you, you check. Yes. Right. And uh, then we have uh, updated the uh, disturbed mm -hmm. setting here. Okay. And uh, we have updated the mm -hmm. setting from background, mm -hmm. the lighting, mm -hmm. standard, and the dark. Oh, this dark is update. Yeah. And uh, have a scaling setting display mm -hmm. here. S scale, mm, you can set the 150. The percentage of the 100. size of the screen, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's a new and uh, remove the AWS application. Yeah, maybe someone don't like it. So <laughs> these seven things are the new things for the 2.0 version. Okay, okay. So next we will show you some scenario because some people might think, okay, okay, I can install Ubuntu inside your NAS, but what is it about, and why I will be using why what's the reason for me to use the Ubuntu Linux station inside your NAS? Well, basically, these are the next coming are the, the several scenario like personal user, office user, and designer user. Well, we go to the smallest one, the personal user situation. You just take it as a NAS, uh, sorry, as a computer. You can install Line, you can install uh, Google Chrome, you can install Firefox, that are the, the, the things for a personal user will use the most on one PC, right? Yes. And if that is uh, for some entertainment app like YouTube or some other thing, can we play Facebook on Ubuntu? Of course, you can use the uh, Chrome ah, browser yeah. Yeah, or Firefox browser. Yes, we can check on Facebook on browser. Yes. So maybe I think Instagram can also do that. Yes. Yeah, so this definitely. is definitely enough enough for a user, personal user to run his own PC on our NAS because basically you can do everything. And for a office user situation, of course, for, uh, for office user, we will try uh, to share files and maybe something like Excel file and PPT, something like that. This is the solution for a office user. We have LibreOffice, we have this several uh, applications just as the same as, not as the same, it's alike. The Word, PowerPoint, Excel, these three apps that uh, for us, office, for us workers inside of office, we will use the most, okay? And sometimes we will use the, the paint application in the Windows. You can also use the color paint. It's another application that you can download and it's just as, you know, it's really alike the Windows Microsoft Paint. So another usage for you and of course speaking of the screenshot the Ubuntu Lens station is supposed to shutter so you can use it to capture the screen or the selected area then we come to the designer uh, scenario for designer we will use a lot of uh, software to make your video editing or the image editing and we need to share files to other designer we should we, we need to co-work together well, the Ubuntu support the Blender is a free 3D drawing software. It's a free one. Yes. So in the future, will it charge? No, no, no. Free, all free. Ubuntu yeah. software is all free. Yeah. You all know that the, the drawing software, especially 3D drawing software, basically it's very expensive. So why don't you try with a free app, right? And it supports Krita. It's a free image editing program, just like the photo impact on your windows. Okay, so we just provided you several uh, solution and scenario that maybe 
that will make you feel more interested in using trying to use the Ubuntu Linux station in our NAS. But I'm not saying that if you are if you already have a PC, then you should purchase a NAS to install the Ubuntu Linux station and try the Ubuntu. I'm saying that if you have a QNET NAS and then you can try to use the function and if you like it then that's good for you. But uh, check on the, the, the numbers of the Ubuntu Linux station has been downloaded is uh, I don't know 390,000 times so a lot of people are using this app so why don't you just try as well but there's one thing you need to take care of is like the, the TVS X73 series that does not support HDMI output so you can still run the remote, remote. desktop function mm. but uh, you, you just don't use it if you want to have a HDMI output built in NAS but can can this series install the HDMI card and then mm, go no, no, because it's a platform is not support HDMI oh, okay so the platform does not support the HDMI so if you just if you really need the HDMI output function just don't choose this series choose yes. other one okay so uh, these are the new things we want to introduce to you and if you haven't tried the Wango Linux station with Arcanian NAS you can try and if you like it just keep it okay so that will be all information we want to show you and the most important thing is the Linux station is upgraded to the 2.0 version so we have our Ubuntu Linux station too so that that is all and uh, we thank you for your watching we will see you next time on QNLab Podcast. bye, bye.